Vanny Harry, who egotistically anointed herself the food babe when she began her blog in 2011, uh, first got under my skin with statements like, if you can't pronounce it, you should not be eating it, and there's no acceptable level of any chemical to ingest ever. Well, Vanny would undoubtedly be reviled by 1, 1, E, 3, E, 5, E, 7, E, 9, E, 11, E, 13, E, 15, E, 17, E, 3, 7, 12, 16, tetramethyl octadecadyl bis 266 trimethyl cyclohex 1 E, which I suspect she would have a hard time pronouncing and would therefore recommend that it be avoided. Yet, this is just a scientific name for beta-carotene, the compound responsible for the color of carrots. She seems to have no problem selling it, as it is included in her organic multivitamin supplement that contains, quote, premium hand-selected ingredients. Does Vanny go around crushing her organic mango and guava by hand to make the pills? As far as not wanting to ingest any chemical ever, well, she would go hungry very quickly since food is nothing but a melange of chemicals. An apple contains over 300 compounds. To give her some benefit of doubt, maybe she means that it is synthetic chemicals that should be avoided. But that's also misleading because the properties of a substance are not determined by whether it was created by nature or in a lab. To be fair, Vanny's rise to fame, which can be seen by the number of followers she has and the publicity she has received, is not totally undeserved. As an activist, she has pointed out the nutritional deficiencies of highly processed foods and has urged people to eat healthy grains, fruits, and vegetables. But what irks me is her total lack of scientific knowledge. For example, she has no understanding what GMOs are, and uh, thinks that oil from genetically modified soybeans is a GMO. Well, the oil may come from a genetically modified plant, but it contains no vestige of that modification and cannot be distinguished from any other soy oil. Furthermore, there is no health issue with GMOs, as is documented by numerous studies. Vanny first started out as a critical voice, clamoring for truth from food companies she claimed were lying in their marketing, and she made some reasonable points about the use of unnecessary food dyes and uh, alternate names for sugar. To counter this, she started her own company, <clears throat> True Vanny, which is a portmanteau of truth and vanny. So, is she really telling us truth with no lie? Hardly. Let's explore one of Vanny's popular videos that begins for pouring a pitch of orange juice down the drain. Why? Because we should be getting our vitamin C from supplements that she sells, not from orange juice. She tells us that the vitamin C in her supplement <coughs> comes from alma berries, <coughs> and they contain 20 times more vitamin C than oranges. That, of course, is meaningless. As far as taking vitamin C goes, what matters is how much you take, not where it comes from. Alma berries are not, quote, more powerful than orange juice. She goes on to say that other supplements are made from synthetic vitamin C, which is made from synthetic ascorbic acid. <clears throat> Once more, her scientific ignorance shines through. Ascorbic acid is just the chemical term for vitamin C. Vanny digs herself into an even deeper hole by saying that synthetic ascorbic acid is difficult for the body to absorb and can even upset the stomach. Nonsense! Vitamin C, also known as ascorbic acid, is the same substance whether it is made by an orange, an amla berry, or a chemist. Vanny also warns about there being antifreeze in some beers ignorant of the fact that propylene glycol alginate is not the same as propylene glycol. The latter is used as antifreeze, while the former is a foam-controlling agent in beer. While propylene glycol is used in the production of propylene glycol alginate from alginic acid isolated from kelp, it is a totally different substance. I think Vanny would do well to get a little chemical education. An appropriate book would be chemistry for dummies. That for today is our cup of joe.